Good afternoon, everyone. This is Christian with PerfectStockAlert.com, a 100% free service for smart investors and traders. Today is August the 30th, Monday, 2010, and it's time to look at the markets. Okay, let's start the day off looking at the Dow Jones Industrial Average on last Friday of last week. She was up 164 points, and Monday she was back down 140 points. That's not bullish no matter how you slice the dice. It basically you gave back all those little gains from yesterday. I'm sorry, from Friday, which means there's no uh, commitment behind buyers to the upside here. No surprise there, no big shock. Um, ultimately, this is what we got going on. We told you back on Wednesday that we got the tools. It's not a tool, that's a brick. Uh, we got an overall downtrend going on right here, from back here. And uh, that trend is going to remain in effect until uh, smart money comes out and they start buying this thing and seeing it as being oversold and a good buy opportunity. And that's just not happening here. That's why you always look at the volume. Uh, it's very, very weak. So any move to the upside is easily erased back to the downside as the market just continues in the overall trend. Counter trends look like this. All right. We talked about that on Wednesday. Mm -hmm. And you want to use those counter trends as short opportunities. Let them bounce up there, get to the overbought condition of the slow stodge, and then just start nailing them, okay? Whenever you get a chance to do that, take that opportunity, all right? Uh, right now, we have taken down here, let me see, clear that up. <clears throat> right here on Wednesday of last week, we told you look for that counter trend bounce, and so we did uh, advance our stops and took a, took a profit on a, uh, one or two of our uh, trades but we also have a core short position because we believe that this market is so weak. In fact, it doesn't even have to make a substantial bounce. It could just churn its way down through the slow point right there. Okay, And this is the key level to be watching right now. Um, as long as you don't get any strong buy activity behind this move, to the upside, the overall trend, which is down, will remain in effect. And that means you will end up going lower to bounce along that trend line is down there. So be looking for that to continue to be the trend question I get after question is always the same when do you know the overall trend has changed volume baby volume right now you can see volume spikes up higher on the sell side than the buy side there's no interest by buyers in this market this was Friday's activity okay you don't even have today's but it's gonna be a low volume sell-off um, you've also got Lots of issues coming out this week, and there's a lot of things keeping people from wanting to buy. You've got the unemployment report. It's going to come out for the month. Uh, you also have a three-day weekend coming up on you and all stuff like that. So there's lots of things that are going to keep bulls or the buyers uh, at bay. And uh, right now, it, the obvious trend is down, and it will remain very strong in favor of bears until volume shifts uh, substantially to the upside which and I don't mean like a little tiny blip here and there I mean you're gonna have to see a spike of buy volume that stands up with a head way up above everybody else you don't have that so unless uh, something changes we're just gonna keep seeing this thing churn lower and lower and lower alright I like it quick look here at gold uh, this particular chart <clears throat> is not something I want to be a buyer of but I don't want to be a seller of either if uh, I was just looking at the chart I'd say be looking for sell, but on this particular case, I don't want to try to sell gold. Uh, you've got any problem over there in Europe with their currency issues could cause a flight to gold, which could spike the guy. So I don't want to be uh, fighting that situation right there. One thing I would point out to those guys that are bullish on gold, uh, you'll notice back here you started finding this little activity bouncing along here and up here and then pull back and then up here and then pull back and then blah 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 you're finding support at this 50 day moving average that's normal that's what you should see in an uptrend here you broke below it okay and you closed below it and then you rode below it for a good bit all right found down here found some previous old uh support all right and you bounce back up all right well this is already starting to show a weakening of the trend because you were able to close below that so be watching that carefully um, in my opinion, this is starting to get long in the tooth on the upside, so uh, be care careful there, cautious there, okay? Again, I'm not trading this to the long side or the short side. I can just find easier trades out there, but if you are long this market uh, or this uh, particular uh, commodity, uh, keep a tight stop. Quick look here at the Hang Seng Index. This is overseas. You'll notice you've got this... 200 day moving average if you're in a bear market which we are price activity will stay below this line okay I mean it may blip above it occasionally at the start but ultimately it's going to 
get itself further and further away from the 200-day moving average and then start to find resistance or hiding below the 50-day moving average, this blue line right here. So what we've seen here is it bounce up to it, you get knocked down, it bounce above it, you easy short there and right here. And now we're trading, let me clear that up, <clears throat> trading right here at the 50-day moving average, just below it. Well, uh, you do have the condition that could show you a bounce. The problem is nobody wants to bounce up here. You have very limited upside before you get to that easy short position. So she's just kind of trading sideways. We're seeing this in a lot of markets right now. But the ultimate move is going to be a breakdown. You already know that because of low point here, and lower low here, showing a downtrend. Same time, the corresponding low points here and here are showing an uptrend. That's false. You want to trust the slow stotch, not the price activity. Price activity is going to end up doing this and breaking below this low point right there. Here we are looking at the FTSE, the London Financial Times Index. Very bearish chart. No reason at all to be a buyer out there. Uh, but you do get a little bit of a bounce here in the past couple of days as we are at the uh, currently technically oversold position where we expect to see a bounce but the chart pattern itself is very bearish you have lots of resistance to 50 day moving average the middle Bollinger Band line the 200 day moving average this previous trend line here this previous high here all of that is going to be in your face and if you blip up here to the 200 day uh, line if you actually moved up there to that level and pulled the slow stash back up here I'd be shorting you so you don't really have any upside there and uh, you're going to have a hard time getting buyers and interested Quick look at the NASDAQ. We got the same conditions across the board here. Okay, looking for a, a counter trend bounce, but this is a sickly bounce. You had, uh, let's see, first come down here to this current resist, uh, support line, which is why you got the bounce. You can knee jerk reaction. You're going to bounce on this whether it holds or not. So expect to see a little upside there, which we saw for past uh, one day and down day, one more day and down day. I mean, it's just really, really weak. You don't even have a consistent, like back here you had up, up, you don't even have that here. You have up, down, up, down, really weak. And then a total give back of uh, the buy activity on Friday. So it's, it's very weak and looks more like it's just rolling over before it breaks below this right here. Uh, keep that in mind. It's very, very weak. You do have potential for us to continue to bounce. But again, resistance at the 50, resistance at the two, I mean, the middle Bollinger Band line, resistance at the 200 day moving average, resistance here, resistance at the upper Bollinger Band line, resistance at the previous high here, nothing purdy at all over there, okay? Lots of resistance levels, you're just not going to churn through that without some serious uh, catalyst to the upside. We just don't have it in this market, okay? So the path of least resistance is down. Quick glance at the Russell 2000 small cap index. Nothing bullish here. We told you last week it's not something you even wanted to consider taking from the long side, even though you knew it was going to bounce because you also know it's going to break down. How do you know that? Low point here, low point here, trending down. These low points correspond with these low points here and here. This is trending up. It's false. You're going to take out this level here. Okay, so price activity is going to end up breaking down below that level. So there's absolutely zero reason to be long that market, even though you are in the position where you look for that bounce. That bounce is nothing to you other than an opportunity to go find yourself some short positions or add to some short positions, so forth and so on. Okay, uh, You do not want to be trying to play the counter trend bounce. The overall trend is down. These are counter trend bounce. You want to use them as short opportunities like we did back there. Okay, perfect. Quick looky look at the S&P 500 exact same conditions. Everything is looking the same. Very bearish. You have one day to the upside, one day to the downside, one day to the upside, one day to the downside. You're moving basically flat before you do that. If you've not been to our free website at perfectstockalert.com, it's right there. It's 100% free and all we ask in return, refer a friend. Also, feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We appreciate that support. And if you don't do it, we hit you with a stick. A quick look at our disclaimer. The disclaimer, read it and weep. The information provided here is our opinion only. We have the right to hit you with a stick if we see fit. A, our next live trading course begins in September. Register for that while there's still space available. We'll teach you how to do this for yourself. It's that easy. It's that cool. All right. Take care. God bless. I hope to see you all there. And regardless, visit our free website and check out the MPT rating. You want to know what's going on there.